Let's see if we can see it. Hold on. Laura, get your head out of here. Can you guys see it? I can't see it. Okay, hold on. Weird. I've been wanting layers and then I woke up with layers. See, even underneath I've been getting these layers. So weird. Anyway, welcome to today's video. I'm excited for today. I am super excited for today. I got my Equizen vest on. I love this vest. It's super lightweight, but it actually makes you stay warm, especially if you wear it like underneath a winter coat. But anyway, we gotta get down to the barn. Gabby's already down there. Door. Oh, you already gave her food? Well, thank you very much. Everybody's got their food. I got my handy dandy washcloth and Vaseline. To wash my handy dandy mare, we're going on a trail rod, Penny. Can you drink all that water? We are going on a trail ride. All right, we'll just put the Vaseline on her bum, washed her down, she loves it. This girl likes everything to do with grooming. She doesn't love the, the she, well, she doesn't mind anything. She loves her hair brushed, and she loves her butt cleaned. There we go, just get this stuff off. So you're comfortable. We'll be back in a few hours though. You have a good breakfast. Look at her tail, full of shavings. I like to see her laying down to sleep. It's one of the advantages of being in a stall, I feel like, is that even new horses feel comfortable enough to lay down and sleep. And I feel like that has a lot to do with how they feel, how well they sleep. That's not Finn. Penn, call her Penny. No. She likes to go out. Oh. Okay. You know what my horses do? What? Mine put their head low. Yeah, put your head low, Miss Penny. That's the whole goal. Put your so head that means low. you have to make her put her head low. All right. Walk on. You're not holding the leader up properly. Whoa. Molly, get. Molly! Walk on. Make her stop there. Molly! What was Molly doing? Coming up to go in the arena first. Oh, rude. Rude. Oh, no. I don't think she spooked at that. But the cats are running above. Yeah. I need to get some stuff in her eyes. They are annoying. But once she's scared, she doesn't get to run through you. Like, do you think I tell my horses? They're well behaved. It's actually supposed to be really cold today, but it's not. It feels nice out to me. I have no mitts. If I have no mitts, then you know it is not too cold. All right, here's a mystery. Oh, there it is. I have two cat food containers, one that delivers food automatically, and then another one that used to sit here, but I see it's way back here now. And empty. I swear, so much happens between camera takes. But we, uh, we had to do a little bit of running around, but we are home now. Girls have been doing school. We're getting ready to go on our trail ride. We're having some puppy problems. Puppy problems. The problem is we have too many puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie and I want to show you, before we go down for our trail ride, what Daisy's like. Daisy. I feel like you all know what Molly is like. And Ruby. And I feel like you all know what Ruby is like. But I don't feel like you guys to have truly gotten the effects of our daisy, of our daisy puppy. Yes, you are a cute one, aren't you? You are such a good one. Yes, you are. I have her scheduled for another groom at the end of this month. I don't think she's going to need it yet, though. But I want her to be beautiful for Christmas. Okay, so one thing you guys don't know about Daisy is that she fights Molly. But is that she is a lover. She loves one thing. Me. No. <laughs> She does love me though. She does love me a lot. But the one thing that she loves. Daisy, kiss me. Aww. Thank you. Sophie, you I, I didn't teach her that. Daisy, Daisy kiss me. Daisy, kiss me. Okay. Daisy. So the one thing that Daisy loves more than anything else on earth is to be rubbed and brushed and, and massaged. So I'm going to show you what she does. If I can find her. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh my goodness. You chose a bad time, Mom. I chose a bad time. It's playtime on the day-by-day -day farm. In the puppy place. In the puppy zone. All right, we've wrangled the puppy. She actually was running from Sophie. Kind of like Finn does sometimes. Okay, so let's watch what she does. This is not nap time. Okay, so when it gets to be nap time and she's tired, she comes and she climbs over on top of us and she wants us to like rub her and massage her to sleep. 
She's a little keyed up right now, but we'll see if she does it. The more she likes it, the more noise she makes. Let's see. Oh, I can't get her to do it. Like, I have to try and get it tonight. Like, but basically... Basically, the more we massage her, the more Thank vocal you. she gets. Thank you. I wouldn't. All right, she's not gonna do it. She's—it's not Dizzy nap kissy. time. But last night, Dizzy kisses. Last night, she literally was moaning and groaning, and like, she's she's just such a funny dog. Like she just. She tells you what she thinks, and, and the more you massage her, the happier she gets, the more vocal she gets, and if you make her mad, she's like, get off of me, leave me alone, like she talks so much, I've never had a dog talk so much, Sophie and I just lay there and play with her and annoy her just to get her to talk, because she's so cute, oh yeah, we did this too, she's not, she's not paying attention, but we were doing this clicking sound, and it was annoying her. Even Molly doesn't like it. <laughs> All right, that's enough of Daisy. You're not meant to get a full idea of what she's like yet because I'll bring, um... we'll try and shoot a video at night when she's ready for bed. Molly, why are you so noisy? Oh. Sometimes I think she tries to get the other dogs in trouble. Yesterday, she does. Yesterday, she went inside. Molly's crate and pooped. <laughs> Obviously, Molly and uh, Molly and Ruby are completely potty trained. But it's like, Gabby, I think your dog pooped in her crate. And I was like, mm, that looks like Daisy poop. But yeah, she's a sabotager. She tried to get cat. She has a lot of trouble. trouble. Anyway, let's go down. We're gonna. We got a whole plan for the for the trail ride we're going to show you my goal is to try this out see how it goes and if it goes well go on a trail ride with friends on sunday i don't know why but i wanted to take this picture of sophie just wait she looks really cute just sitting there with those leggings with the black and the black i love a matchy girl so i'm trying to act all cool and like i know how to do gabby's breakaway knot but i don't oh you're doing it in there all right so we're going to take the ponies with us they're going to walk and we're gonna ride. So he's actually gonna. Did I do it wrong? Well, you have to tie it up. That's I? one way. Oh, hoo -hoo, look at me go. Okay, so. Okay, so you put it like that. You go like tighter. this. Because it loosens. You put that one under. You go like that. And you go like this. Alright. Over and through. Like a loop. Oh. Bigger loop. Oh. Put a bigger loop on it really easy and right. when you pull it it goes and then, looser. Yeah and when you pull it just goes like Okay let me try it. For anybody who doesn't know magnesium which is a mineral like a vitamin um, will only make a horse more calm if the horse is lacking in it. If you give a horse too much magnesium you have like the opposite reaction. They get crazy. You definitely are not trying to drug our horses or use magnesium as a drug to calm them down. And I don't even want to calm her down. She's a calm horse. She's a slow horse. Like she's not a fast horse by any means. The thing that worries me is that I'm going to release them so that they're together tomorrow when the weather gets nice. And I don't want to put my ponies at risk because she kind of has a little bit of an anger problem with other horses. I saw it at the other place. Yeah, and I want her to have her best opportunity. Storm, if you guys remember, Storm got so angry because his magnesium levels got low in the summer while he was only eating grass. So I'm just trying to be responsible by ensuring that she has everything she needs in her body, ruling out any kind of physical thing that she has going on before I introduce her. It's not to slow her down. It's not to, I mean, I like it. If she gets calmer, then that's great, but it's not, that is not, I'm not drugging the horse. I'm not drugging them so that I can ride them better. I don't believe in that. You guys saw us go through the whole oh, Finn thing. Oh, my door. If I was going to drug a horse, it would have been Finn. <laughs> Just off electricity. Oh, my gosh. You guys with your electricity. <laughs> I'm scared. I turned her around in her stall to go out. And I said, come on, let's oh. go. go. And she said, no, watch. Walk on. She only walks on if I go forward, but watch her. Walk on. She's 
like, I don't want to. Every ride I have with Penny teaches me something new. So I've learned that for the first five minutes of every ride, she tests me. She's like, hmm, what can I do? What will get her off me? Hey, whoa. I test her back and she's good. So I'm gonna do a little ride in the arena, get all the testing out and then go. of the uh, driveway so no cars can get in and so we can't get out so no horses can get out so yeah, we had to <laughs> yeah so we have to actually like walk on the road on the busy road and my horse was like so pro got onto the trail she was like I know this like let's go and she loves to be in the front so when I get up pass me the camera and I'll, I'll video okay because okay. the girls are having a hard time videoing all right I've been flying Girls are way behind me because Penny and I be flying, but way more controlled than when I tried her. She likes this. This is fun. I think, I think I'm learning a few things. Penny just had her first spook and what her owner told me is that she stops dead still. That's all she does and then she listens until she feels safe. We're headed home and she doesn't want to go home. Just like Stella. So much fun you guys that I'm stopped we stopped along the way and Penny's having some grass. She looks not very anxious. She was not anxious. I trust her to go out alone. I would I would ride this horse out alone. That's how amazing she is. Man, who knew that God had you planned for me? Alright, so Gabby made this little stool, this step stool for us outside our gate so that we can come out here. They put new sand on the road so it'll be looking more sandy and more fluffy. And now we, we have our stool. Gravel, gravel. All right, let's go. go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Sophie wants me to buy her a gated horse for at home now. I offered to let her ride Penny tomorrow because we're going to do it again tomorrow. And she said no because she looked scary. But it was because there were a couple of times that she didn't want to stop. Just like a regular horse. She's been doing good with the stopping. I don't know. She's a work in progress. But everything that her owner told me about her is absolutely true like she she tries her best for you she's a little sassy though like in the arena just walking around she's a little sassy if i ask her to go she's a little sassy i don't know i can't describe all the things all i know is that i'm in love with her i love riding her i'm we are ready for our first trail ride with friends penny poo she's great with the other horses excellent didn't even try to get near them. So tomorrow when it gets warmer, it's supposed to be hot tomorrow. 
we're gonna put them all together. I know a lot of people think they should be together right now, and that is true. Yeah. Penny does. Yeah, I'm coming. Penny doesn't know. Penny doesn't know the uh, electric fence yet, so that means when I introduce them, it's gonna be mean. It's gonna be me being down here a lot with her, and that's okay. So tomorrow's the day, you guys. We're gonna do it tomorrow. So excited. This has been amazing. The only thing I hate are the reins that go with this. They have this clip here. Gets caught in her hair. It's just annoying. I don't, I'm gonna have to try and figure out if I can hook regular reins to this. Could I? Can I hook regular reins to this? Okay, listen, remember, we just bite nicely. So, awesome ride. Gabby was there too. You guys just didn't see her. She's pretty far in the back. But she was, it was nice to have her there for support. And she's going to come tomorrow and we're going to do it again. Do you think you'd ride Penny tomorrow, Gabby? No. Gabby doesn't love Penny. You don't love Penny, huh? Gated is not your thing. Because the females are nice, but I know. Yeah, she doesn't love you, Penny. It's okay, though. She's got so much on her plate. Lots of horses. And it's kind of good because she doesn't care for you. That means I get you more to myself. So see how she's got that white mark? We should cut her mane right now. It's right where my bitless bridle goes. I have a soft, fluffy thing there. But you can almost see where maybe she was bitless before or somebody she, rode her in a bridle. She had a soft fluffy thing because this because the leather doesn't move so it goes like that so I'm like oh you know yeah I definitely want to look for something better to ride her in ride her mane so it looks better and she what do you recommend I do with her mane maybe even it. And no but like I do want to make it even I love her forelock we never cut forelocks yeah except for fins so what would you where would you cut it I just don't like that it looks scraggly you would have to cut a bridle path. Yeah. This is really annoying. Yeah, I agree. It's like willows. She loved her hair touched. Um, we would cut I'm kissing it. my horse. This needs to be chopped off like right now. Yeah. Um, so just like on an angle, just make it a little bit more. Cut it, just cut the ends off. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Cut that one a little bit more. I feel like every time we cut a horse's hair, it makes the horse more ours. More ours, yeah. Well, we're gonna make it even and nice, and she'll love it better. I would honestly chop this off. Same. I know everybody says that, but I, I like it. Cause... I chopped this off on my horses and Finn, and it looks better. Yeah. Cause this part gets underneath the saddle. And yeah. It gets pulled back with the saddle. Yeah. Pulled. You know they don't really feel it. Like I just cut it. They say that horses don't feel when you pull their mane, but I feel like it. Oh, they, Finn likes when you pull his mane. I know. Some horses don't like it. So maybe they don't feel it, but some like it and some don't like it. Uh-oh, here we're going to see if Penny it. likes her mane pulled. Oh, my pretty Penny. You're one. such a princess. Like, look at the difference in this horse, you guys. She's doing like, we're falling, we're fawning all over her and she's just chilling. So she must have needed magnesium. Like, and she's not getting the highest dose. Yeah, she doesn't even flinch. She, she loves her hair pulled, though. Like, she loves it brushed, so it doesn't surprise me. Maybe I'll just pull some of it. Because that would be, like, a bonding thing for her. Because look at that hair. But mostly pulling oh. is to make their hair thinner. <laughs> pull it to make it thinner. Yeah. And shorter at the same time. Yeah. Well, she doesn't need it thinner. It looks cute, it though. seems passing by now. All right. All right, let's go up to the house and do school. Penny, it was a pleasure being doing business with you. She had some grass. She had some lots of time for her out there on the trail. And now she's going to have some hay. And then I'll be back down at supper, okay? Raya's nap time on the day-by-day -day farm. Remember I told you that one of our videos got picked up by a media company and they spread it around? Um, well, I saw it today. One of you guys sent me the link and it was sent to the Daily Mail. They picked it up from this media company and it has over 300,000 views and they just posted it. Like 300,000 views and people are like, yeah, well, you will give them a puppy for now and they'll go away to school and then the poor puppy. <laughs> and then somebody commented and said, oh, I know this family. That puppy will still continue to be loved. It's amazing. Like it's weird. That's where I'm to, Yeah, and they're homeschooled. Uh, but it's weird to see like our video go out there and be like, I guess that's kind of viral, like, but it's not from our channel, but yeah, it's still our video. Isn't that so cool? I love it. This is a heated blanket 
Oh, it's warm. You Every like a heated I blanket? Turn it on, it's already on. I know. The dogs know how to turn it on, I swear. Macy literally sleeps on it all day and turns it on. I know. She uses her little feet. Daisy be loving it. Don't you know that you're beautiful?